What's shaking and baking all you hip, cool cats? My name is Kit, and welcome one and all to Chicago Reacts. So I've been reading the comment section, and uh, especially it's, it's in regards towards us reacting towards uh, Kentucky Ballistics. So to be very clear, yes, we do see your comments. We do respond to your feedbacks, and I'm seeing all the responses towards uh, some of my most uh, hilarious, uh, I guess, commentary. I know everyone has been laughing at the uh, infamous one where the 50 cal blows up, and I say, holy S, sorry I shouldn't swear, and then the F word. Uh, I, I will try to avoid swearing, but I've seen everyone say, hey, respond to the uh, four-bore rifle, to which when I see the four-bore rifle being fired, I'm asking, what the hell is in, in Kentucky? Uh, that the four-ball rifle is being used uh, for defense of the great state of Kentucky. Uh, I ask, are there dinosaurs? Are there zombies? To which all of you, our outstanding viewing audience, have informed me of, well, there are uh, videos of Kentucky ballistics using the four-ball rifle against zombies. But then somebody else commented that uh, there's a rifle called the T-Rex. And then, of course, other people have commented too, hey, you should see the reenactment of the 50 cal being blown up. And to which I have to say, a promise is a promise, and I will see that video. But first, let's talk about the 577 Tyrannosaur. Now, for those of you who don't know, I've been on not one but three dinosaur expeditions, two to Montana and one to South Dakota. And dinosaurs are very close are very, very close to my heart. Um, and uh, I've been recently watching the new series, Prehistoric Planet 2. And I have to say, at least with the scientific data coming out there in regards to T-Rex and how it hunted and how much of a brutal killer it is, padded feet, moving silently, using its massive power and weight to bring down that Edmontosaurus, um... I have to say, I have a newfound respect for the king of the dinosaurs. But now, let's get back on point. The 577 Tyrannosaur, the real T-Rex rifle. So our friends at Kentucky Ballistic, the crew there, are now uh, using this rifle. Now, I have have to say, uh, is it strong enough to bring down a Tyrannosaur? I don't know. Maybe there's an open gateway through time and space, where the great state of Kentucky is bombarded with zombies, aliens, dinosaurs, mutants, and other un unimaginable terrors. So why don't we all just sit back, relax, grab ourselves a tasty snack and a tasty beverage, and see how the crew of Kentucky Ballistics handle the 577 Tyrannosaur, the real T-Rex rifle. Let's get ready to play this video in a three, a two, a one. All right, got to do your daily cleaning. There you go. Good to see Scott out there. A genie lamp. I've been looking for you. <laughs> I thought you were dead. <laughs> no? <laughs> You're wasting your time, Kentucky butt lipsticks. You've already had your three wishes. Yeah, but I almost died. So that's like a respawn. So shouldn't I get more wishes? I feel like I'm watching halfway through a series and I don't know who all the characters are, so people are gonna probably type in the comment section below. Uh the the genie character is is very pivotal uh and important to the story. So in order for me to understand more, I need your help to help me understand. I need you to help me understand. But uh, all right, so we got a genie character. There's no way I'm giving you three more wishes. But I'll what? You know what? I'm feeling generous. So I'll give you one more wish. Boo! Okay, give him three. Rifle, big enough to take out a T-Rex. No reason in particular. That's a big wish. So those are just like show muscles. You're not strong enough to do it? You're not strong enough to do it, and you're scared. It's okay. okay. I'll make your wish. Now hold on. With the four-bore rifle, that should be enough to take down a T-Rex, so. Let's go see what the 577 Tyrannosaur does. Your wish is Look at the size 
to that right. thing. Whoa. That's what she said. That's what she said. Yes, I know I made a lot of phallic jokes in the previous Kentucky Ballistic React videos, but you know what? I can't help it. What more do you want from me? I, I never said I was a figure of moral authority. I never said that. Don't put that responsibility on me. What's up, everybody? My name is Scott, and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. We're back on the range, and today yep. I am super excited because I have a rifle that I've been looking for for years. They're extremely rare, and I'm very excited to show it to you. Let's go check it out and get started. So there's some people out there that like to claim that they have a T-Rex rifle. I'm not going to mention any names. Chris Pratt, listen up, buddy. In Jurassic Park, you're running around with a 4570 lever action. I'm sorry, my friend, but that's not going to take down a T-Rex. No, it won't. And if you've been watching Prehistoric Planet and Prehistoric Planet 2, uh, let's face it, that scientifically accurate T-Rex even gives the T-Rex in Jurassic Park a run for its money. I mean, that thing is a goddamn beast and a frightening one at, at that. I mean, uh, all the new scientific data about T-Rex and how it hunted and how it probably lived. I mean, what a frightening monster. To think that that thing walked on the continent of North America 65 million years ago. And if you've been watching Prehistoric Planet and Prehistoric Planet 2, give me a thumbs up. Now this, on the other hand, would absolutely take out a T-Rex. This is an A-square bolt-action rifle chambered in 577 Tyrannosaur. This bolt-action rifle is absolutely the biggest bolt-action rifle I have ever seen in my life. There's actually a video that's been on the internet for probably a decade of some guys shooting this gun, and it's absolutely wrecking them. Rumor is, is this gun kicks harder than any other rifle you could shoulder fire. And today, we're going to see how my shoulder holds up to it. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Scott. Take it easy on your shoulder. Take it easy on the chiropractor. But before we do, I want to show you just how big this rifle is and its ammo is compared to other guns. So this is the A-Square Hannibal model 577 Tyrannosaur bolt action rifle. And it truly deserves the name Tyrannosaur. If dinosaurs were still walking the earth, this would definitely do the trick. A-Square made a lot of rifles, but... Hold on. Now, just to be clear, man, you know, let's... Uh... As as much as as cool as it would be to see dinosaurs, just remember, they are wild animals, and uh, they would be extremely powerful. I will not underestimate the power of the tyrannosaur. When it comes to the Hannibal model 577 tyrannosaur, they only made 24. 12 of those rifles went to Africa, and the other 12 stayed here in the U.S., and I now own one of those 12 rifles. Oh, wow. The 577 Tyrannosaur, an absolute behemoth compared to other rounds, but the gun itself is a giant compared to other guns. Here is a Henry Lever Action 4570. And okay. And here is the 577 Tyrannosaur. That thing's big and huge. That's what she said. If you haven't realized it by now, I have uh, have a lot of lowbrow uh, comedy and comments. I will not apologize. You can see that there is a huge difference in size. So here is a CZ-550, which is a very popular gun used for safari hunting. And here it is compared to the 577 Tyrannosaur. Look at the difference in these stocks. The 577 Tyrannosaur is a whole lot beefier. The 577 Tyrannosaur's barrel is also much thicker than your average bolt action. That's what she said. I'm. S you know what? I'm done saying. I'm sorry. You take it. You take it. In fact, I want to see some Tyrannosaur dinosaur emojis. 10 out of 10. Life changing video. So now let me show you the 577 Tyrannosaur compared to some other calibers that you may be familiar with. First up is the 308. Next is the 4570. Okay. 12 gauge, 3 inch shell. Reasonable. 338 Lapua. 
Mm -hmm. a 500 Nitro Express, and last, the 577 Tyrannosaur. Jeez the 500 Louise. Nitro Express is no slouch when it comes to Safari cartridges. You have a 570 grain projectile moving at 2,100 feet per second, and that's producing a whopping 5,800 foot-pounds of muzzle energy. But the 577 Tyrannosaur would eat the 500 Nitro's lunch, and there's nothing it could do about it. 500 Nitro's... Just like T-Rex would, unless two Quetzalcoatls uh, decide to fly around and try and steal his lunch. Lousy thieving pterosaurs. Who do they think they are? If you've seen Prehistoric Planet 2, you know what I'm talking about. And nobody type in the comment section below. See, geez, Kit, spoilers. I need all of you to keep, keep alert on the science. That is, that is such a great series. Prehistoric Planet 2, I know. I know, but we're here talking about Tyrannosaur. It was weighing in at 570 grains, and the Tyrannosaur is weighing in at 750 grains. The wow. Tyrannosaur is moving at 2,460 feet per second and producing over 10,000 foot-pounds of muzzle energy. That's very good. Double of 500 nitro. So what I'm trying to say is that I'm very excited to try out the 577 Tyrannosaur. But before we do, let me tell you about today's sponsor. And today's sponsor is Guardio. Guardio is a lightweight extension designed to help you browse the internet quickly and securely. The Guardio browser extension will protect you as you browse online and offers identity monitoring, which is available on any device. Browsers play a key role in our lives and they store some of our most valuable information, such as messages, banking information, yep. addresses, passwords, and much more. There is a lot at stake, and a dedicated product really is needed to keep us safe in this new realm. Guardio will protect your online browsing information. You'll avoid installing malware, falling victim to scams, and yep. you'll get real-time alerts when your information could be at risk. And with Guardio, you can protect up to five family members under one account. Probably all of you know at least one person that's been affected by scammers or identity theft. It's a really unfortunate situation and something that nobody should have to experience. Install Guardio now and you'll get a free security scan. It only takes 30 seconds and it can save you a lot of money and aggravation. Avoid installing malware and falling victim to scams and get real-time alerts when your information could be at risk. To begin your free security scan, go to guard.io slash Kentucky. You'll also get a free trial that will keep you and your loved ones safe from scammers and hackers. Again, a big thank you to Guardio for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get back to it. All right. All right, real clear here again, folks. Look, the internet can be a fun place. It can be an entertaining place, but it's got its own fair share of dangers too. So please protect yourselves out there in the World Wide Web. Uh, keep your heads on a swivel. Keep on winning. Let's, now, let's go back to having some fun. And Oh, yeah, that's right. People have mentioned... Mentioned in the comment section that uh, Kentucky also has the predator walking around its woods there. Jeez Louise, Kentucky, what the hell happened? All right, that's enough talking. It's time to finally shoot this thing. Here is our round, a 750 grain 577 mm. Tyrannosaur. <laughs> Look at that. That is ridiculous. I would be lying if I said I wasn't a little bit nervous about shooting this thing when it comes to recoil. With a 12 gauge or a 4570, the shooter is feeling about 31 pounds of felt recoil. Okay. This thing is going to be producing about 170 pounds. <laughs> Four out of five dentists recommend that I do not do this, but what do they know? Woo! All right. Here we go. Here we go. Safety is coming off. Oh, here we go. Holy sh! Stop myself. Whoa, it even did the slow mo. What the hell? Ah! To be real here with all of you, my arm would have been, would have been just ripped right off. Scott's built different. That's all. Whoa! Holy smokes! 
you felt that. I think I chipped my tooth. <laughs> totally got you. That was a tic tac. But for real, that was absolutely ridiculous. That was one heck of a ride. And this 100% kicks more than anything I have. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Even though it would probably rip off my arm, I would like to shoot the Tyrannosaur. Now, I know there's only 24 rifles made, but that would be a sight to see. Have more than the 700 Nitro, more than the 600 Nitro, the 577 Tyrannosaurus is now the king of recoil. Wow. Ugh. There you go. That tea is pretty sweet, but not as sweet as subscribing to Kentucky Ballistics. It I can't urge you guys enough. Please, please, please support the original content creators. We do that for all the videos that we react to. That original link for this video is in the description box below. And uh, for uh, Scott's uh, shoulder right there. Come on. Do the right thing, you hip cool cats. If you enjoyed seeing me wreck my shoulder with that gigantic rifle, then you need to hit that subscribe button. Don't act like you're not impressed. All right, yeah, 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 okay, yeah, no, he, he, he threw the table, fair enough. So my ammo is limited for today's video, but we are actually going to shoot some stuff. And our first target is going to be four gallons of gray Poupon, which brings me to my shirt. There is Poupon everything. These shirts will be available for the next two weeks. If you want to check those out, there's a link in the description down below. Fair enough. Okay. He probably got that at Costco, and if not at Costco, then at Sam's Club. Well, oh, come on. You guys know I'm right. I mean, look at the size of those things. It's either Sam Club, Sam's Club, or Costco. Come on. I used to work at Costco back in the day. I mean, I've, I've seen jars of mayonnaise the size of a barrel. Well, okay, maybe I'm exaggerating just a little bit, but, you know. To those people who've been to Costco or Sam's Club, you know what I'm talking about. Nobody pretend to be hiding under a rock here. Hey, let's see if I can actually hit something with this thing. Got another 750 grain round. Excuse me, sir. Do you have any gray poupon? If if you remember that commercial back in the day, give a give give some tyrannosaur emojis there. You know, those brass solids, they're not supposed to expand or anything like that. Most of the time, they just zip right through stuff. But the five seven seven tyrannosaurus, it's gonna make a mess regardless. Yep. As it should. Let's poop on everything. Okay, the gray poop on was pretty explosive. Now I want to see what would happen if we hit something that's a little bit harder. All right. I think three ought to do it. Let's go see it. Four bore was able to mess it up. All right, shot number three. Here we go. All right, here we go. Whoa! Clean right off. Um, three blocks definitely did not do it. So I may have been underestimating the 577 Tyrannosaur with only three cinder blocks. And normally when you set up a few of these, It'll go through one block, and then it hits the second block. Then the second block falls over and then completely breaks up. Uh, the 577 Tyrannosaur just wrecked through all three and didn't really seem to care about them. All right, hold on. To the most diehard Kentucky Ballistic subscribers, uh, how many tables has uh, Scott gone through? Or is, that, or is that table just all reliable and he won't give up on it? Type, 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 type. Your answer in the comment section below. For our
our last target. Okay. I have 20 gallons of water. Let's see what happens when they get hit with a 577 Tyrannosaur. There you go. <laughs> Woo! All right. Go. There we go. And a three. Whoa! Dude! Come on, do the rewind. Ah, oh, we didn't get the rewind. Ooh. Uh, no, anyways, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Here, I'll rewind it for us. Very nice. God damn, man. Those things got screwed up. I've never seen one take down four barrels before. We definitely did not catch the 577 Tyrannosaur. Look at that. I'm going to be 100% honest. I have a lot of elephant guns, and I have shot a lot of stuff with them. But this 577 Tyrannosaurus is on a whole nother level. I yep. am extremely impressed, and I cannot wait to shoot more stuff with it. What would you like to see me shoot next with the 577 Tyrannosaur? Let me know in the comment section. I already know, but it's going to cost too much. A lifelike ballistic gel skull of a tyrannosaur only fair that the t-rex fight the tyrannosaur tyrannosaurus rex versus the 557 tyrannosaur now I, i'm pretty i saw some comments people saying that the zombie torso uh gel ballistic gel uh costs between two thousand five hundred to three thousand dollars so obviously you can't make a lifelike version of T-Rex because that would cost a lot of money, but I'm pretty sure if somebody wanted to, they could make a like the skull, you know, of Tyrannosaurus. That would that would be something worthwhile to see. Down below. Some tells me that table ain't going to be coming back anytime soon. Than my shoulder being completely numb. I had a lot of fun today. I hope you enjoyed the video as well. I think I may have a new favorite rifle. What did you think about the 577 Tyrannosaurus? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you did enjoy today's video, be sure and give it a like. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, hit that subscribe button. Also, be sure and check me out on Kentucky Customs, Kentucky Ballistics Shorts, Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all those can be found in the description down below, along with a link to KentuckyBallistics.com, just in case you want to pick up a shirt. And as always, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics. I'll see you next time. All right, I think we learned something here today. While, while the four-bore rifle is close to all of our hearts, we should never ignore the true king, the true tyrant king. The 577 Tyrannosaur is a weapon that has earned my respect. Um, it would probably, similar like the four-bore, uh, destroy yours truly, but thankfully we have Scott to take the hits for us. Hey, Scott, take it easy on your shoulder, by the way. Uh, but, uh, uh, wow, what an outstanding video. Um, 
we learned about a true firepower and just how many of them are made. And uh, hey, you know what? It's uh, it's it's an important learning lesson to know that uh, uh, Project Zomboid. You know, I've I've asked, I've humbly asked them, the the great modding community, and and no one has to do what I say, but uh, you know, perhaps the four bore rifle should uh, be allowed to be of use. Uh, in that game, but I'm also going to throw in that the 577 Tyrannosaur should also be in that game as well. It seems to be like those are the two weapons. Hold on, I'm going to sneak. <coughs> <coughs> Poorly timed sneeze. So those are the two weapons that are needed to take down the almighty, the all powerful Tyrannosaurus Rex. We will disregard that sneeze. But until then, folks, I want all of you to keep your heads on a swivel, keep on winning. And as always, folks, uh, be sure to support the original content creators. It's the right thing to do. As always, it is the right thing to do. Uh, so, uh, again, the original link is in the description box below. And also, please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Chicago Reacts. We do appreciate all your support. And if this is the content all of you hip cool cats like, give us your feedback. If there's something else we should check out. Type it in the comment section below. Yes, we do read the comment section. Sometimes some things do skip our attention. Get our attention. Get our attention because we're so happy with how fast this channel's growing up and how fast we're growing with subscribers. So keep on winning. Take care. I'm up out of here.